Okay, I lied. I said the next video would be all about lunging, but first, I wanted to do another video that describes getting DW used to all the other equipment and the prerequisites that I feel need to be in place before we can talk about lunging. First, good groundwork. Teaching your space versus their space. Walking with you, halting with you, trotting in hand, backing up from gentle pressure, moving sideways from gentle pressure, all of that can and should be taught before you begin to teach lunging. You could definitely do that work with a two-year-old, even though I wouldn't recommend lunging a two-year-old because it's too much stress on their joints. When the young horse is confident with all that good basic groundwork, which will probably just be done with a halter and lead, then you could also start introducing some of the other equipment, saddle pad, sir single, and eventually the saddle. I wouldn't introduce the bridle yet because you'll still be working them primarily off of a cavison or a halter. The horse should be comfortable with you touching them all over at this point. If they are uncomfortable with you stroking or patting them anywhere on their body, then they're not ready to wear tack. But if they're confident and consistently trusting in you, then it's fine to go ahead and get them used to those things, even at two years of age, when you won't be planning on riding them yet. Some people call this sacking them out. I like to do this for the first time with the horse in the stall, not in the cross ties. If they panicked, it would be bad to have them tied anywhere. First they can smell the pad and then you can gently rub it all over them on their neck, over their back, over their croup, even under their belly carefully. Clearly DW is not exactly afraid of us. In fact, it was very hard to get this video because all he wanted to do was go to Kate who was videoing for me. So he's being a bit more distracted than I would like. So once they're fine with the saddle pad, I start out with a surcingle. You can get a surcingle from anywhere. They're not very expensive. And we use this one from Dover that has a simple girth that comes with it, but we lost that long ago and now just use a regular girth. Some of them have fleece lining like this one, or you could just fold up a towel or put a fleece pad underneath it. Sorry this isn't the best angle to see, but some horses are very sensitive in their girth area, so doing up the girth for the first time can be a exciting experience for some horses. So you'll notice that I do it up a little bit and pat him, do it up a little bit more and pat him, but I'm not making it as tight as I want it right away. I'll tighten it gradually as we walk. I always start with a surcingle because it's lighter than a saddle and all I really want them to do at this point is get used to something on their back and a girth around their middle. This horse is a little pushy and tends to get in my space a bit so I want you to notice how every time I lead him out of the stall I first ask him to back up a step or two so that he doesn't get used to me opening the door and then he walks out on top of me. So here you see him wearing the tack that I would have him wear for the first time. And he has worn tack before, so this is not exciting to him. But for some horses, just moving and feeling the girth under their bellies would be quite exciting. So I'm going to tighten it slowly as I walk, stopping in between and patting him everywhere, letting him feel me touch all the parts of the surcingle and the pads. If he were very excited about the feeling of the girth, around him I might let him just hang out in the stall for a little bit with this on I would never leave him unattended because he might roll on it but sometimes letting them just move around without you there is a good idea and then walking him in hand and just halting and slowly tightening it and on the first couple days you might not make it very tight if he were to get very humpy in the back then I would just halt him walk him again, halt him, walk him again, and let him just get used to it because it can be very strange feeling for them at first. 
If you're doing this with a very young horse, let's say a two-year-old, putting the tack on and just walking around a couple times a week is plenty. If your horse is ready to start lunging and is comfortable wearing the surcingle, we can move on to talking about the saddle. But don't put the saddle on until the horse is comfortable with the surcingle. So here I have a light saddle with no stirrups on it that I like to use in starting young horses. I check to see if this saddle fit DW well and it fits him well enough for now. Later on we can get him his own saddle but young horses change so much that I don't feel it's necessary to go out and buy them a new saddle when you're first starting them. So I let him smell the saddle, I put it on him carefully, and I did the girth up snug enough that it won't slide, but it's not very tight yet. You can see I backed him up again before I walked him out, so I keep those manners intact. And I'm just going to walk him around a little bit and slowly tighten this. Again, I'm not going to make it as tight as I would for riding yet, because it doesn't need to be that tight. I'm not sitting on him today. You might notice when I pat him, I try to do it fairly firmly, not hard enough that it would hurt him, of course, but I'm not being extra careful with everything that I do. I want my pats to make a little bit of noise so that if they startle him, I notice that and he can get used to noises, pats, strokes, whatever. I'm not being too precious with him at this point. Same thing applies here. If the horse is surprised by the saddle or the feel of the girth, then just hand walk them around a little bit until they start to relax with it. I could take him down to the arena and lunge him a little bit now because he already knows that. But if your horse doesn't know lunging, then just hand walking around the barn or down in the arena, wherever you have to go that is a place the horse feels comfortable with is a good idea. You could also introduce the horse to wearing boots or polo wraps at this point if you want. I usually just start with them in front for a while. This horse doesn't have any shoes on, so he doesn't really need to wear any boots or wraps, but if you're just wanting to introduce the horse to the concept, this would be a good time. So these are some of the prerequisites I feel need to be in place before we can talk about lunging, which I promise we'll do in the next video. You might ask, how long does it take? to make sure your horse knows all of these things? Well, as you can guess, my answer is going to be it completely depends on the horse. This horse arrived knowing all of these things already, so great, we can go ahead and get started with lunging. But for plenty of other horses, I might work with them for a whole month before I felt they trusted me, weren't nervous, or comfortable with everything touching their bodies before I would try to lunge them. I always try to remind myself that my eventual goal is to communicate with this young horse later on in life at such a level that he and I can dance together from slight movements of my body. My goal is not that I can just sit on his back. That is quite easy and that will happen in time. But now I want to lay the groundwork for trust and communication. That's the main word I want you all to remember for now. We're teaching the young horse about communication. Stay tuned and subscribe for the next video where we will discuss how to begin teaching lunging.